5361. That is a huge discrepancy. Aronofsky wanted to do a Wolverine with Hugh Jackman, and he was going to use um, special effects to make Hugh Jackman appear short. His height is important. I'm sorry it is what it is. His height is important. I know, I think I get it from people. I get it. Um, there is a stigma against short people. People have something against short people. A stigma exists against short people. It's a fact. You know, you see if it in dating about how, you know, women say, oh, no, 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 I don't want to date short guys, you know, blah, 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 blah. short guys, no way, I can't have guys who are below a certain height, you know, and there's this whole thing of short man syndrome, that short people just have this extra edgy thing up about them, like one of my good friends, he's like a really short guy, and he's just got that extra edge about him, for so long, I thought Tom Cruise was a tall guy, because I think that Tom Cruise felt insecure about being shot in his films. So when you look at all of his films, I think um, they tried to film it where he was almost the same height as like his female lead. It's only in recent times I realized, oh, Tom Cruise is actually shot. <laughs> you know, the guy is actually shot. In a different world, he'd actually make a very good Wolverine. So Tom Cruise is a very underrated actor. But let's talk about Taron Egerton. Taron Egerton, I believe they say he's 5'9". So I think he's around 5'9 or something. So somewhere around, I think he's around 5'9. He's too tall. <laughs> he's too tall. Sorry, he's he's too tall. He's too tall. Like, that's, that's too tall. So, I mean, the, the look is fun. I think he's a pretty good actor, you know, and so for that. I am I saw a clip of a TV show that he's in. Um and I'm like, okay, he, he seems fine, but he's he, he's too tall. He's way too tall, you know. Not way too tall, but it's too tall. Our good friend Hugh Jackman, I know you guys love him. He's 6'1. He's 6'1, and guys say, okay. Six one, six one, you know, six one. It ain't six six. It ain't six. It's not like a basketball player, man. Six six one. He'd be short in in basketball. Okay, that's cool. In the comics, Wolverine is said to be five three. So think about that. Five three, six one. Five three, six one. That is a huge discrepancy. That is a huge, massive discrepancy from five three to six one. Huge, massive. I told you, Bran Singer, the guy wasn't thinking. He wasn't thinking. He would have said, oh, look, Hugh Jackman is cool. Boom, put him in. Hugh Jackman, amazing actor. I told you, like, um, Prestige, I think, is an amazing film when Nolan actually made good, good films and Hugh Jackman was amazing in Prestige. But for Wolverine, he's done a great job. He's just not the right look. Do you know who your Wolverine is? Stephen Gray. Go watch This Is England. Go watch Boardwalk Empire. I think he plays Capone in, in Boardwalk Empire. Just go look at some of the stuff he's done. Very good actor. Take, take it from me. Take, 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 that's right. I'm the actor in my turn, dude. Very good actor. Stephen Graham is 5'5". Five five. That's a nice description for me. I said that you cannot cast an actor. 5'6 should, should be the max. 5'6, that should be the max. Anything beyond 5'6, no. He's 5'5". Five five. He's an amazing actor. He's got a really good look, so especially if you're not bringing prosthetics or so forth, he had the sideburns and everything, he can look like a Wolverine. He doesn't look, he does not need to look exactly like the dude in the comics. He doesn't have to. For me, here's my thing. It is more important that he's short and has a menacing aura about him than him having the exact look as him. Well, the last time that they tried to do the same look as someone, Superman re returns. It was Brian Cedar again. Because Brandon Routh and Christopher Reeve, they look exactly the same. But Brandon Routh is a garbage actor. Garbage. So it's like, no. Um, so, Stephen Graham, that's your guy. He's 48. Which, remember, people still act till their 50s or, or 60s. He's 48, which means that you can easily get three or four films out of it. Okay. The guy can... The guy can Wolverine is in Spider-Man. Wolverine is just a guy that does acrobatics, flips, and, and, and so forth. The main thing about Wolverine is the kind of energy he brings in with, with regards to his characterization and his acting. Stephen Graham, that's your Wolverine. That is your Wolverine. That, that's it right there. So, but I just think that because these studios are so stupid, because they're so thick in the head, they're like, oh no, we have to cast someone young so we can do three billion, eight billion. No, I mean, just give me a good film. Okay, fine. 
pick you up because someone said, oh, jo Joseph Quinn from Stranger Things. Dude is 5'11". I, th I think that guy's like 5'11 as well. No, it's too tall. Okay, put them in that MCU stuff. Just give me a series of solo films. Hopefully complete. See, this is my dream. Aronofsky wanted to do a Wolverine with Hugh Jackman. And he was going to use um, special effects to make Hugh Jackman appear short. This is my particular dream. This, this is like my wet dream. Darren Aronofsky with Stephen Graham in a series of solo films of Wolverine. Because I don't know if that's one man, that's my guy. That's my guy. So that's my thing. So we'll see. But, but yeah, your Wolverine is Stephen freaking Graham.